recently I had to do something that I wasn't happy about. Unfortunately, I had to take down one of my videos. And it was the first Plastic Addict episode, the Titanium Menosaur review. Now, I'm not a fan of taking down my old stuff, but at the same time, I really don't want to repost it. I mean, the quality is so low compared to what I like to put out now that I'm almost embarrassed of it. I wouldn't repost it just for the sake of uh, archiving it. I want to give people new things with full quality that I'm capable of. But at the same time, I don't want to exclude it. I want to have it available somehow. So I thought I'd do something I'm not sure I've ever seen done. I believe this is a first. Tonight, we will be watching Titanium Menosaur's review, Plastic Addict Episode 1, as I review myself. So sit back, relax, here we go. Oh god, the movie maker text. I, I am so sorry I ever used that. Episode 1, Titanium... My god, my hair gets that short? Marvel, a comedic adventures as the addict dusts his toys. Yes, you're busy. Got it. Move on! Psst. I'm watching you. It's not a lot of fun. Whoa, whoa, cheap zoom effect. How'd you get over here? You put me here for this contrived shot. <laughs> it looks like I banished him to the void. Y you know, repeating an effect that cheap probably wasn't a smart idea. Yoink! I'm mailing you back to Santa Claus! And that's the bit that made me break my lamp. Can't anybody get rid of you? Why did I leave a salt shaker in the shot? So it looks like I'll be reviewing Titanium Menosaur, whether I like it or not. You know, I, I never figured now, out why having a toy stalk me was edition, criteria for a review. Exclusive. San Diego Comic Con. Because you wouldn't you have known without it, seeing the logo. This review, most online shops that ever stocked the toy still have it. And Comic Con was half a year ago. That includes Hasbro Toy Shop that sells it at the same price people paid for it at the show. No overcharge. Still I, I get think it. it took him like a good year to sell that toy out. I think what puts off most collectors is the character choice. Oh, Menosaur? and it's a titanium, too. Are you kidding me? How in the slightest does this look like Menosaur? Oh, oh, On black and gray count as slight. Some kind of amalgamation of all the Yes, thank you. That might as well be in hieroglyphics. Yeah, it's blurry. I'll take my word for it. But come on. It's a black and silver Rodimus Prime. Between the flames, the arm guns, and the fin, you're not fooling anybody. I love all this random silence. And you should know, collectors resent things like this. Yeah, wait, oh, there you go. And that's the other problem. Black and silver? Hasbro, this is three years in a row with black exclusives. When did you pick up Takara's habit of black figures? Uh, okay, now you're just showing off I mean, the Rare Chase figure. That would be a more believable choice. What about a black R.I.D. Optimus? Great titanium mold. How about a Beast Machine's Ravage? Ravage always sells. How about talking about the toy you're Better reviewing? Still? How about the Sky Warp you promised us and never delivered? How about that? Uh, okay, actually, they listened to me on that one. Aside Silent. from oh. who it could have been, the color on this figure is just 
dull. It looks like a black and white titanium Rodimus. Pretty sure you mentioned that. I mean, I mean seriously. I mean, if I took out the color, look out! He's trying effects again. To a part. There's some purple trying to do the same thing the metallic blue does on Nemesis Prime, but there's just not enough of it, and it's too dark to really contrast. Speaking of which, why did I, I ever think this was enough light for a reveal? Aside from Menasaur, you get his rifle. You also get the display stand that comes with all of the titaniums. But, come on, no one really uses these, right? Oh, that would have been hilarious if people knew that was my actual shelf. Titanium is infamous for faulty quality control, but Rodimus Prime is one of its better molds. And you know what? Poof! He vanished! My Rodimus has a right knee. That's a little floppy. Menasaur? Pretty solid. Uh, don't compliment the toy! What, what have I been teaching you? Points, including five in each arm. He can get in some pretty good poses, and the die cast makes it so the arms and chest don't cause any balance issues, mostly because there's so much metal in his legs. Don't sound like you like it! It tops out at 20, and they'll help steady some of his poses. And of course, being Rodimus, the mold is heavily armed. Aside from the rifle he comes with, you've got the classic arm cannons. Which you wouldn't have noticed if I hadn't pointed them out. But he has the same problems as Rodimus mold-wise. The waist, pretty skinny. And from the side, you can see how hollow his back is. Early onset of Autobot Scoliosis. Now since he's a titanium figure, the transformation, not all that difficult. But it's actually fairly more complicated. You know, as long as I was struggling for negatives, you'd think I would have mentioned that the toy snapped in half when I tried this shot. But... It forms a pretty solid vehicle in the end. Vehicle mode is the same as Rodimus, the Space Age Winnebago. Like a Winnebago will make it to the really Space Age. How little effort went into it. Come on, the exact same flame deco? It's supposed to be Menasaur. Where's Motormaster's purple striping? It's a Stunticon. Where's some Fast and Furious decals? I thought nope. flames were Same decals. Rodimus, but with silver. As, and aside from the windshield, there's less purple in this mode to distinguish the two. Have I mentioned the paint job yeah, yet? This is okay. Except for another gap problem. I always did like the pipes. They like they look nice winding down like that. No, you must let the hate flow through you, but Jedi. Let's face it. Even black and silver can't hide the fact that's remained since G1. There is no such thing as a cool-looking Winnebago. That's right. Road rules can I suck it. Admit. Despite its faults, I do enjoy the figure. No, no, no. Look, I am disowning you, boy. Toy. Hopefully Hasbro figures out that being a limited figure doesn't mean the toy will sell. <laughs> yeah, Exclusives are learning. Collectors. If you do something they won't like, you're not going to get your toy sold. So here's looking forward to next July, and hopefully a better offering in the Black Repaint family of Comic-Con Transformers. And then we can look forward to Metallic Mighty Mugs. Now, I think it's very important to see where you came from, and to let everyone that's come to enjoy your videos see how far you've come. I mean, I look back at this and I realize just how amateurish this was. I was just trying to get a video out there. But I have improved so much in the year and a half since that video came out. Uh, not just technologically. I've learned how all this works. I've learned tricks. And I've learned the editing processes that I really enjoy. So it's a nice little refresher and it really reminds me of how far I've come and potentially how far I have yet to go. As for the toy itself, Titanium Menasaur. I got to admit, I didn't want to refilm this review because it's honestly not a bad figure. I mean, yeah, it suffers from a dull paint scheme and an uninspired repaint, but I mean, good articulation, good transformation, overall, nice figure. And Plastic Addict has changed since then. I wouldn't harp on a toy just because of a bad paint job. 
But come on, what were you thinking, Hasbro? The exact same paint scheme couldn't even change the flames for crying out loud. I mean, look at, I mean, this is absolutely boring. Just purple. Purple's the only color you can think of for this toy. Oh, that's so great. Purple, purple, purple. I mean, come on, what the fuck?